Hi, this is part three of New World Organized. How to let go. I know we're set in our old ways, but technology is helping us adapt to the faster change in life. These new faster changes we've gone through in life. Please allow me to help you change. Open wide, yeah, that's that casserole, and there go that grandma wooden spoon. You know how it works. Nasty going down, but you're going to feel all better in on it. That's change. You know you fought and and everything, that's not the thing that one spoon for. So, let's recap. Now we all know that debit cards and credit cards are a thing of life. Even everybody's telling you to use them. Alright, magnetic strips, name on the back, hey, you can even put your face on front of it, so if somebody try to steal it, you can keep it, well, well, if somebody trying to steal it, you know, they won't get away with it, because their face is not on there, we talked about Stalin and the star and sickle, one country, all working together, we talked about the ATMs, we basically be obsolete in the banking system, probably don't want new world order, or new world organizing, you basically can make transactions over your cell phone or with a mini computer so the government will get a cut of each check we talked about uh, perpetual motion and free energy devices so that we can work three days and a half days out the week and we talked about everybody working together as a team for one single purpose you know there's a lot of work to do We're taking these poles down and recycling the wood and the copper we can build houses but all the wood and copy we got, we all talked about how Mr. Obama, President Obama, is not the Antichrist. We all talked about how money is causing a lot of the problems out here. I mean, whoa, they're talking about all of it. If the oil go away, we'll lose jobs. Shh. They, I mean, they realize if the money go away, they'll lose the money in drugs. So we're going to stop all the hard drugs, cocaine and heroin. We're going to keep the bud. That's the change. That's an equi e equivalent, equivalent, equivalent exchange, okay? Let's move on. I'm getting better at this, talking, I'm trying to. Let's talk about security with, with oneself. Security starts with knowing what you're supposed to do. I tell my nephew, no right from wrong and no better, then you won't go wrong, alright? If somebody asks you, why did you do something and you can't explain why you did it, well, obviously, you had no damn business doing it, all right? Crown with the security. Let me get rid of the money. Prostitution, drug dealing, home invasion, assaults. Uh, it'll make the police officer job much, much more boring, you know. Because mostly crime, you will see if we do go to the uh, pla uh, convert to plastic, would mostly be, I don't want you, I, don't, I hate to see you with that, you know what I mean? I hate to see you with her, I hate to see you with that. In, in, in particular item, I hate to see it. See? So the police is going to have such an easy job, so they shouldn't have to be free casing us. That means if we don't know a free case, me that means giving you a charge free, no matter if you did it or not. Well, if you didn't do it, you're still going to have a case. Now the police, you shouldn't have to be running around here beating down on your fellow citizens because somebody in the office. Desk jockey told you to. You should know right from wrong, and you should know better. That's why we put you in that position. All right. No right from wrong and no better. Now it's just not the police we got to worry about when it comes to self control. All right. Cause some people and we the people goes off on their own little journey and everything. You know and you know I don't say you say this radical. Or radicalism, but we go outside and we're protest. It, it's not everybody. It's just small groups. I mean, if it was the super world thing to do, everybody would be doing. It won't be no left wing or right wing or Republican or Democrat. It would be everybody. All right. You won't have to get smacked down by our children because. A few of us, you know what I mean, as I heard whining and crying because they don't want to take that cash for off. Because getting beat down is not a beautiful thing. Ain't that right, buddy? Because we are the people. 
under that flag. Alright? Now, a lot of the stuff that you see is like what I would call reverse workmanship. It's like everybody's now working together. This person going that way, that person going that way. I had to break that spoon and that oil out if you keep it up. We all need to be up in the same position. Now, this will stop. And you know why? Because it's not necessary. And a lot of things that gonna be necessary. Like this stuff here. Everybody say, ooh, we wear all the time. Now this is basically what I was trying to tell you. A lot of you do these little flashes you're seeing now are basically reverse psychology at work. Some of these organizations might be real. You did, and some might be phony because it only takes a guy with enough little money to tell them people to cause a lot of panic and hysteria in the group, you know what I mean? And it spreads out. You know, never be a, a, a scared to be friends with the Chinese or the uh, Mexicans or the Canadians or the Russians or the Germans or the French. With the help of the internet, we all can be friends and we all can trust each other. You got what I need, you got, and I got what you need. And we'll all come together as one to make it work. A lot of stuff that needs to be built. Not a lot of roads and bridges that need to be fixed. And the point of money to do it, kind of like, you know, fade away because everybody's just chipping in as a team. It's not just about us destroying ourselves or people telling us that if we accept New World Order that everything is going, you know, because you as an individual is not going to allow it to fall apart. You know why? Because we're all going to work together like the ants and the ground that you step on every day and not paying attention to. We need to stop. Think. Get that big wooden spoon out. Open wide. That's right. Take it all down in one go. Because you only can say the world gonna blow up so many times before this generation gets kind of numb to it. You know what I mean? You know, for so you know, we gonna get numb to it. Why it ain't gonna bother? Like what? It's a meteor. No, it's a, it's a big burning. Uh, uh, um, the sun is gonna burn the planet. After a while, we get tired of it. Now, if we work together, we can solve any problem. But we run around like a chicken with our head cut off, like I know it's probably gonna happen. We're not gonna be able to move forward. We're gonna come to, uh, I mean, there's not supposed to be any more wars. No more world wars, because everybody's connected. I got friends in China, I got friends in Pakistan. You understand? It's not gonna be no more big, giant wars. That's, some days are over with, because we, our kids, are not gonna accept it. Alright, see part four, and we'll talk about uh, the jails and stuff. So go to fattricks.com, get you some environmental safety hand gloves so you protect yourself flying through this season. Because I don't want 300,000 uh, guys. Um, and while you're at the website, check out the Unicef handbag. Handbag holds cell phones, iPods, glasses, pens, and has a wide slot to keep them out of the way. Order now and receive a pair of matching driving gloves, free with your paid order. Great holiday gifts, a bag for you and gloves for him or keep both. Send $34.95 to the address on the screen or call 1-800-282-0556 or visit FatTricks.com. 